Hi golfers. I want to go over here with you some great checkpoints um, that I like my students to follow. And then when they're looking at their own videos, they can compare and be like, hey, am I here? And then um, if they can't figure out why, then you know, let's figure out why together you're not being able to hit that position, okay? So um, as you guys know, my students know uh, the takeaway is huge for me. So a bunch of different ways to do it. What I'm going to show you today is with an alignment stick, um, here's, the key, here's the deal. I have most of my students use a TRS, a uh, tour rotation stick, okay? Um, they are awesome, they clip onto the end of every club. I just have this in here today, um, which you can use, but also um, some of the drills will end up doing the tour rotation stick is good because it won't hurt you as bad if you flip. Okay, so let's talk about a few checkpoints that I find just uh, crucial, okay? So we're gonna play a little pretend here with where the ball is. So it'd be somewhere, you know, based around here. I'm gonna get set up, right? And I'll do it, uh, I'll do it also um, based on for you guys. So number one, okay, checkpoint for us is here. We have done the takeaway. The alignment stick is still in my body. My hands are over my right thigh. Club moving about two feet, hands six inches. Now we're gonna go to the second checkpoint right here. So if you see here, the club is parallel to my shaft on the ground, which is pointing basically parallel to my target line, right? So now we got number two. Now, number three, we keep turning from there, get through the right shoulder, and this right here is pointed. If you go from the ball back both ways, I use a laser a lot with guys for this, but you can do it with this too. This should be pointed somewhere near the ball. If you are like this, you're steep. This is too flat. Okay, so we've gone one, two, perfect. Now through the shoulder, three, and have this point towards the ball, okay? Now we'll check it again here, four. What am I looking for here? Well, depending on what you do, I want this a little behind the hand, usually because most people slice, okay? So now we're parallel to the ground again. This would be on the hand. I want you a little bit back here, so we're coming from the inside. And then impact. And then here. Okay, so it's just so key that we get to this position here, then we can come through and fire hard with our hips, okay? So checkpoints, you know, there they are. Let's do them here face on for you guys. We just see the imaginary ball right here. So takeaway is only this much. We're going a one piece takeaway to here. See my hands are over my thigh. Checkpoint two, shaft is pointing down. My target line, which would be the shaft that's on the ground, okay? Now, rotate this, going through my right shoulder, and I want this pointed, I, I have trouble getting too flat, but I want it pointed towards, somewhere towards the ball. You can only tilt as much as you can tilt. If your back is, only well, you can do this much, you can only do this much, but you gotta get some kind of tilt in there. And we come here and check again, is it behind my hand? Yes. Impact. So if you notice here, I didn't show you on the other side, um, down the line because my hands are leading, right? And you see this shaft is out here. It's not like this on my body. <laughs> okay, unless you slice and you're gonna go like this and nail yourself. Okay, we want you here, not touching your body and then like this. And then it shouldn't, it shouldn't hit you, okay? So those are the stages of the swing, okay? Now, then they gotta be melted together. Work on one section at a time, okay? So if you're taking the club, if you go like this to start your swing, you have to move your hips, your way back here, what has to happen? You're gonna go like this, you're gonna lift up, and then do like everybody does, come way over the top. So, there's a reason all these checkpoints are so important. We, in one second, we can only control so much of our swing, right? Most of the time, with the point eight, we can control it. When we get going on the way down, it's reaction, right? So the key is here. And you know Scott Sackett uh, is great with this is this is his thing I've taken from him. It, it just makes a lot of sense. Is that your first move here? If you go like this, steep steepening. Now see how this is inside the ball. You can't correct that. I mean, you could maybe go like this to fix it, and you think, oh yeah, I'm behind it. But no, you're not. You just all you do is dip your shoulder, and then you got to flip at it again. Okay, so we're here. That first move has to be like this. The hands don't go out towards the ball. 
So the point he makes is whatever you start with, that first fraction of a move, that's where you're going. So if guys are like, you know, get all bummed out if they're way over the top or whatever and think I have to make this huge change, you really don't, guys. It's really going instead of here, <laughs> you're going here. And then we'll work on everything else. You'll hit your checkpoints and go. Okay, so that fraction of a second is what leads you to where you're going. And the people who come way over the top, they're feeling that their upper body is so strong and important instead of doing the kinematic sequence where the lower body's got to lead and that comes in last. That's where we gain power. Okay, guys, uh, Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Got a ton of videos on there you can find from YouTube to Instagram to uh, Facebook to. Um, some other stuff too. So anyways, um, you'll find my contact info as well. And if for some reason you're not in Prescott Valley or uh, Scottsdale, McCormick Ranch is where I teach in Scottsdale. Um, we have the skill staff guys. Uh, so loving working with uh, the guys at Skillist, loving working with my students that I have now at Skillist. Uh, just a great app. It's a great way to work with people and the changes are just phenomenal that I'm uh, having with my students and they're happy. And the other thing is this, is, you know, they all come to me with great expectations, like, hey, we're gonna work on this, not like, hey, Eric, you got a quick fix, right, to do this. So, and yes, I, you know, like I've said many times before, I have quick fixes, I can give them to you. They're not gonna last, so what good is it, right? So, we'll learn some of those on the course, like how to implement quick fixes when things are going wrong. I don't think it's for practice. You know, let's practice correct things, okay? Thank you for watching, appreciate all of you.